chat GPT going down. That was just a precursor of the possibilities. No, something happened. Yes, yeah, something happened and I want to bring that to your attention so you can understand the possibilities that exist. Understand that there are some elements in our lives that we have to really consider. That's one we have to consider. It's artificial intelligence in our daily lives. Whether we like it or not, we're being impacted by this technology. And it's advancing. And I'm saying to you at this point, if you are not thinking about it, begin to think. Because your very survival could depend on it. Yes, so again, I'm doing this recording because that's who I roll. And I think it's important for us to understand the importance of this all, yes? A company that has global impact. Yes, global impact. They are in practically the hospitals, in transportation, in economic situations, they are very much involved. And they are a cybersecurity firm. They control elements. And if you look at their stock, this is where it is, and you can see that they are very much involved in practically a lot of stuff. They're involved in the hospitals, they're involved in anything you can think of that has some connections to security as it relates to cybersecurity, they might be involved there. So having said this, something happened. Yes, something happened, and as a matter of fact, it brought to the attention what is possible. Yes. We know there have been block outs as it relates to certain software updates. I have that on my computer consistently. It annoys me. It takes me away from work. The update takes long. And as a matter of fact, sometimes I can't even get into the system because of what? These updates. Now, just imagine I'm waiting on my one update to take place or updates. But just imagine when a system that is designed to help people millions of people and possible a billion or two goes down because of an update yes it happened yes it happened crowdstrike had a major problem on july the 19th 2024 yes people were unable to travel as a result of not being able to access flight manifest emergency vehicles were not able to get their calls hospitals had problems and of course Every aspect of commerce was affected at some point because, of course, it has a connection to many digital systems that are being used. And it was an update. And the update, of course, did not make connections correctly with Microsoft. Here are just a few highlights of the news that came forward as it relates to this situation. Just take it in of this is great a few weeks ago I outlined the possibility of what happens when artificial intelligence goes down what do we do as it relates to AI and these things happening remember AI is going to be in every system and sometimes these systems will need to be updated updated to ensure that they're designing it in an equitable sense Yes, all these systems are using AI and there are implications, I would say, to you on a global level. And I would say that the implications are great. Let us look at some of the implications. And yes, when these critical systems fail, they put people's lives in danger. From the health sector to all areas, people's lives could be in danger as a result of this. So it's a critical issue that needs to be addressed to ensure that we don't have these recurring situations. When these critical issues happen, there's a loss of trust in the systems that we're using. And as a result of this, there can be resistance to the technology that we are aiming to integrate. And this could be problematic in the adoption of the technology or the AI systems as we're deploying them today. Let us not forget, there are so many things that are tied to algorithms now. And when we look at the AI, and when we look at AI, it could disrupt our economic pathways. And that creates another problem. For example, it could affect logistics, manufacturing, delivery times, and so forth, which could be problematic again as it relates to food distribution and so many things. So we have to think about what's happening. And when this happens, governments will need to take greater hand in getting certain things done. 
And with this comes greater government scrutiny of these AI systems, which could delay the implications of systems that are beneficial to us as individuals and create more scrutiny and regulation. And again, this could be very bad for individuals who are depending on certain levels of AI to maintain its promise. But with the promise of AI also comes peril. And of course, government regulation is important. But when this happens, there are going to be more inquiries, more delays, and so forth as it relates to the technological use that we're going to have be as a result of AI being implemented that goes haywire at times. And when we look at our system, if our AI system is vulnerable, people are going to attack it and create further problems. So there's great implications as it relates to over-dependence on AI, as well as not creating systems that are well-governed and well-structured to ensure that there's no disruption when they are updates and so forth. Is it possible? I think it is. However, we have to be mindful of what we're doing. I'm not an individual who knows the back end, but I think I want a seamless end as a user. I don't want to know that I want to get some money and I can't get it for days because of an AI system not working or because of bias within the system. That's possible too. There are so many things that can happen when you're over-dependent on AI. So I want to say at this point in time, we have to be wary of the possibilities when we are in an AI system driven by AI for everything, our cars, our homes, our banking are associated with AI. When the system goes down or it's not working well, there are possibilities that can happen. Now, let me look at the other point. While there might be biases in algorithms and so forth, if you find out that things are not working well, what are you going to do? You're going to be thinking about making sure that you use less of the innovation. You don't want the problem. So you're going to be using less of the innovative technology and AI systems. And as a result, we might have slowed down as it relates to the adoption of AI as stated earlier. We must design things that people trust. And if people are not trusting them, they're not going to be using it. So there could be a slowdown of innovation if we have systems failing. In England, a couple of years ago, they had a system that failed. Doctors could not enter the system to even start surgery. And so many things happened. And now in 2024, we're experiencing something like that. I guarantee you 2025, the occurrence will be more dominant based on how we are relying on these AI systems and, of course, single AI companies or technology firms to provide our infrastructure that we use day-to-day. -day. Over-reliance on these tech giants, it's, it's going to be problematic. That's all I can. And now, what happens when systems fail? We have to invest more. So we have to spend more. And as a result of that, us as users might see an increase in the cost of the technology. Yes, there are so many players out there that are bad players, and as a result of that too, we'd have to pay more to ensure that our data is secure, which not many people are talking about, but that's essential. And let me say also, there's another thing that I want to talk about, not to mention lawsuits. Airlines were affected, and of course they have to pay out money to these customers. In Europe, it's so different from United States, they seem to get away with a lot of things here in the United States when they cancel and change your flight and do all sort of stuff. But in Europe, it's clear as day what you need to do. And my final point it has global implications. Just imagine you're waiting on money to purchase something somewhere else in the world. That can't happen because the system is down. Just imagine you're now ready to take an online exam to ensure that you are able to move on to another level on that day and you're booked to do that exam, that can't happen. Just imagine you are waiting for that medication that is life-saving to give to someone else based on your medical knowledge. That can't happen because the system is down. It has great implications. Having highlighted these implications, we must understand now the problems associated with such technology. If we do not address them, we are in a position that we are going to have a system when it shuts down people are going to die and that's the reality so when we do not address the necessary issues to ensure that the system continues and continues with seamless and continues seamlessly then we can have a better system
So I'm saying to you at this point in time, over-reliance on that form of technology without considering the possibilities can be detrimental. We had a crisis a couple years ago, and that was COVID. It caused many things to shut down. But in an AI-dependent system, we might not have that human oversight, and that is dangerous. So looking back at the points that I made regarding the implications, it's important that we address these now. Because without that, we're in a crisis. And we must understand that that crisis will continue. Let us look at what happened recently and use it as a guiding light to move forward as it relates to artificial intelligence. I would say thanks again and I will continue to bring you some critical thoughts regarding AI and critical thoughts on education and history. Those are my areas of interest. And that's all for now.